Integrity Systems has a flow on effect from the producer right through to the consumer. So NLIS, NVDs, MSAE declarations all provide a tracking system that the, the statements that we make in relation to that product can actually be backed up with an information trail. So the producer is the beginning point of that and the consumer is the end point. But all the way along there is a guarantee that what we state about the product is actually believable and is true. Well, the data is important because the markets that we're, we're supplying, that people are wanting more and more information on the product that they're buying. So we need to be spot on for what we're producing. If you're meeting specific markets, you need to have a very consistent product. All these cattle are testament to it because if you're hitting the nail on the head all the time you're making money. So these cattle here beside me, they've come from the Big Nils property out of Gloucester in New South Wales and these are grass-fed premium cattle that are destined for the United States of America. We get the cattle delivered to plant and then we have this large array of information that we can download that then guarantees the quality of product. And moving on from that, then in the processing phase, if there is issues with those carcasses, we can stand them aside for later residue testing or whatever the problems may be in association with those carcasses, which I must say is very rare to happen, but it does happen. Having integrity systems in place here at Wingham Beef means that we can uh, trace the animal right from the RFID station where the NLIS tag is read to giving the animal a body number to correlating the offal data and the carcass data back to that body number and the RFID. Traceability is really important for food safety because end consumers want to know that they are receiving a product that's safe to eat but also of good quality and that's something that having integrity systems in place means that we can guarantee for the end consumer. We have here David Bignall's cattle. They will be MSO graded this morning before being packed and then shipped to the US market tomorrow. All of the data we collect on these cattle will be available to David immediately through the MyMSA and LDL platforms. On the screen here we can see some of the data producers would see after the uh, process of consignment. We can see how many animals have had the correct weight and fat to meet the sweet spot in the grid, how many have fell out and what reasons why they have fallen out if you mouse over. We can also view the summary of the MSA data on LDL and we can see how many we actually had in that lot that were present for MSA grading, how many were compliant and how many were non-compliant. So we've followed the journey of the Big Nils cattle from Gloucester and what we've seen is that they've gone through the processing plant, we've collected the data, we've seen things like the animal health issues and the way they've graded, and now that information is going to be fed back to the Bignals through the integrity systems and their data programs. The information we receive gives you feedback on, on the genetic choices you've made in the past and you're able to use that in the future to pick size that better suit the market you're intended to supply. I'm here to help the producers use the data collected from the integrity systems to better inform them making decisions on their farms and for NH Foods to help us reach premium markets available by using these quality cattle that we get from our producers. Mm -hmm.